Hi guys, so we're in the El Caro. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can hit up my normal 24 hour fitness or if I have to go to the one that looks like a jailhouse gym. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, lately I've been trying to do like two of days. <sighs> And, um, yeah, so whenever I can, like, I can, I'm going to try and do, like, two days or, yeah, just to get an extra workout in, um, you know, so, hopefully, um, there's not a lot of people in there, hopefully this camera doesn't get moving, <laughs> So dangerous, but I'm inside my little neighborhood, so um, yeah. Hopefully, I can actually get a two of day in. I usually do it whenever I can. I obviously don't do it every day, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drinking my Bang Energy drink. Sponsor me, bitches. Sponsor me. So most likely he's probably going to be busy and I feel weird filming. I need a gym friend. So anyone is in the Orange County area, let me know. Anybody, you know, because obviously I'm showing where I live. I'm sure you can tell by the damn palm trees. But I'm uh, safe. Ain't nobody trying to stalk me. Ain't nobody trying to stalk me. So yeah, I will probably see you guys again in a little bit. Hi guys. Um, so it wasn't too terribly busy. The guy was kind of cute though. <laughs> but it wasn't too terribly busy, but it was too busy to film. Like I don't want people to be like, oh, why is she filming? You know, so I'm gonna be really sad if I sacrifice this gym for the other gym. <sighs> hey guys, so I'm back. This gym was way um, less crowded. Here's a little jacked up. This gym was way less crowded than the other one. I think I'm just gonna have to stick to filming at night because, like, I was gonna try and film some squats, but like, you had trainers like, "Oh, how many more sets do you have?" And then people were staring at me at the squat rack. They either wanted to use it or just wanted to be weirdos. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to stick to filming at night because I was looking at the peak hours on Google and like, it's usually the time I go, which is like really the slowest time. So I could probably just work out at the gym that I like and then show you guys what I did at this gym since it's on the way home. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, hi you guys. So here I am just kind of warming up my body, but also I was looking at powerlifting videos this day. And I really wanted to try and get the motion down because I want to try it. And this 24 actually has a little CrossFit powerlifting section. So that made me really excited. So hopefully I can kind of learn it. And that booty is popping. So, <laughs> you know, girl. Yeah, but I changed gyms. So right here, I'm doing a lat pull down. And... I'm not sitting down. I feel like when we sit down doing lats, um, I feel like it works out your back more than anything. So I'm just pulling my hands all the way to the side and I'm just pulling that lat thing down. You'll really feel it in your lats because um, I saw this from Column actually and it feels beautiful. And here I'm doing the same thing but a closer grip. But you can use a close grip. Um, you can do a close grip on the um, wide lap bar as well. So just keep doing that. And the other day, actually, like some guy was telling me, like you should really count your sets, you know. So I've been trying to do that. But here I was just kind of filming for you guys. And also a key to a um, hourglass figure faking it is working on your upper 
body like working on leveling out your body with your hips so here I'm working on my shoulders and I don't know what this is called but I see people do it so I do it and it feels amazing I superset it with um, some other weights but I didn't show that here you'll see it later and right here I am working on the back of my shoulder head and I am just doing some face pulls so just do as much as shoulder and lat workouts as you can and then also yeah, you want to level out your bottom half too so I'm going to show you guys that as well but if you it's this is kind of like if you're kind of girl that already has hips and you're just trying to you know you're kind of like straight down you can like really level out your body so right here this is actually supposed to be a super set um with the shoulder thing i didn't know the name <laughs> not the face pull but the one before and i'm just pulling up a 25 pound um thingy weight and <laughs> Here I'm, no that was 35 pounds, this one's 25 I believe, and I'm just doing some more shoulder workouts. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm horrible at this, <laughs> but yeah, so this is supposed to be super set with the other shoulder workout, but you, it's all going to be in the same workout, so you actually could do it all in a row, what I showed you already. And here, I don't know, I saw some guy do it, and it really burns the side rotator cuff, or whatever it's called, the side of your uh, shoulders, so, like, it feels bomb. And your shoulders are really going to burn and feel uncomfortable, but, hey, we trying to grow them babies. Did you know? So, I really want to, like, do NPC competing, but I know I need to, like, lean out. <sighs> what do you guys think? So, anyways... Um, here I am just doing some more shoulder workouts, kind of like the first, ex not the first exercise, but the first like shoulder exercise I did, and I'm just moving these to the side. I saw Viviani on here do it, so I was like, that looked like it'll burn, and it did, you know, so we're just working on them shoulders, girl, and I felt like doing an extra pump because I felt cool. <laughs> Look at that face. Alright, and here, I am just doing some normal, um, I think it's a shoulder press, what it's called? I don't know what it's called. Um, you could also do this on the Smith machine, and you can do a sitting down, like, um, chest thing. Um, fuck. Ah, shit. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but you guys know, you guys understand the motion, so here I'm just resting, and I'm about to do some Arnold Schwarzenegger things with my shoulders. I forgot what these are called. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so horrible at this. They're like, I'm never gonna watch this girl again. All right, guys. So, um, right here, I am just working on my triceps. You can just work on extra. I mean, might as well work. If you're going to work on your top half, work on your top half, you know. You don't really have to split your days because you're not, like, on testosterone or steroids. But some people like to do split days. You don't really have to. So, um, yeah, I am just uh, working on them tries. I feel like my body um, is definitely changing, and I'm so happy I'm seeing results. So, ooh, look at that booty. But here I am using the trap bar or the hex bar to do some deadlifts because... I can't do a standard uh, deadlift and I felt like this actually was really good workout. So I actually felt it in my hammies and my butt unlike my back because I kind of messed up my back from using the standard like barbell. And here I am just working on the squats. Oop. Fake plates! But um, <laughs> so my depth could be definitely better but um again you know if you're gonna work on your top half work on your bottom half so I kind of just started use doing squats again I'm actually gonna show you guys a workout that um, my gym friend that I met um, he taught me how to do my squats and he gave me like a little like little workout kind of I guess but yeah so don't just leave your bottom half hanging you know you are a woman and you want the legs to be cute, and you want that butt to be tight and round, and yeah, so like, yeah, 
and here I am just doing the other part of the workout and um, these burn so if you do this right after doing um, squats like you can either do like a super set or you can just do your squat reps or whatever and um, sets and then you can work on this or you can actually just go ahead and you know just uh, pull it out and out here I am doing the other part of the exercise that he showed me and I'm telling you guys this burns like it burns I don't I don't I haven't felt sore in a while and soreness doesn't necessarily mean growth but you know it's always good to see that you're um, you're actually working um, so yeah it's just doing one leg on the um, I think I forgot what this is called but it works at your quads and what you can also do is move your foot um, to the right or the left versus just in the middle and it, it can work out your inside and the side of your thigh um, but yeah so I'm just doing one leg at a time which is really challenging I can only do like eight at a time um, and you can do like four sets of these you don't have to do so much because it's going to be a different feeling on your legs so I am just um, working on the booty because you need it to be nice and round and um, it's just hip thrust um, actually funny story the other day I tried hip thrust the first time and I kid you not I started my period the next day um, I tried it with a barbell so I'm guessing like the extra weight was just like oh okay well I'm just gonna make you contract and have an early period which is fine so I guess if you're trying to get an early period before a trip because that's what happened to me so do some um, conventional hip thrust with a barbell but this is so much easier on me because like I don't have to level out the barbell even though I will probably move on to a barbell and here I'm just doing my favorite exercise with the why do I look like I'm in fast motion maybe I am but I'm just doing um, some squats because it's fun and here I am just doing my favorite exercise to work out my side glutes um, make sure you stay really low get as close as you can to the seat without touching the seat and this I promise you will legit work out your side glute Ooh, booty <laughs> So here I'm just like working on, this also works out the side glute, you can focus on your glute and your quad here. And I have no weight on here because the thing, I mean it already has weight on it. Um, but what I'm doing is just uh, turning my foot to the side, whatever side I'm leaning, and I'm turning it that way. And what this is going to do is just focus on one leg, like I said, and also focus on the that weird part of your glute, kind of like the top side. So, um, yeah, and then I'm also going to move my foot forward and just focus on one leg. Just kind of making my legs stronger. Stronger. So, yeah, you know, like... What do you mean? And this exercise, I believe it's the last one. I am, people always look at me like I'm crazy, but it works. And this is just another quad focus, glute focus. And it's just on the pull up thingy, assist bar dip thing. But you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching my videos. Like, I love you so much, and I hope you have a great day and night, and whenever you're watching this, and may you have peace and blessings. Love you. Bye. Guys, so, okay, so I found this gym that's, like, in the same city or city over from the one I usually go to. It is so freaking beautiful. Like, they even have like a power lifting section. I was like, what the heck? Like, 24 hour fitness? Like, you have mats and you can slam the weights? 
Like, it was crazy. So I think I'm actually going to film here. Like, there was literally no one here. And I felt comfortable filming even in front of people. Because, like, my other gym, I know people. And it's just like, Ugh. And, like, I think because that was the first gym I ever worked out in. So I just have that automatic, like, sensor in my brain. Like, saying, like, be nervous what with whatever you do. But this one's nice. You got people saying good morning. Like, good-looking men here, I will say. Um, but yeah, dude, it's so cool, and I think I'm going to work out here from now on. I love it. But yeah, so I have two minutes left. Luckily, I had a spare memory card, because I actually forgot it. Oh, my lash is coming off. See, that shit was holding on for dear life. But yeah, thank you so much for watching the vlog, and I actually just got off work. I got off work around 2.10 a.m., and I came here, even though I worked out in the morning, I really wanted to film for you guys, and I just want to try and do two days as much as I can. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me, and I will see you with my broken nail. I will see you, and I love you.